Hello and welcome to the episode 6 of our programming for biology, medicine and genetics, a basic course for those who are interested in bioinformatics, biostatistics and computational biology. It's Hamid Reza Hassani, PhD Chief Data Scientist and Founder of DataBiox. Uh, okay, in the previous episode, uh, we have introduced a uh, tidyverse library and the method of working with that also some methods of data visualization on a real biological data set uh, let's continue uh, some other operations for creating subplots for each gen, each gene uh, but in this short episode we want to just continue on some uh, new methods of tidyverse for preparing of this goal and in the next episode we'll create subplots for each gene okay so let's do the preparation okay as you remember we had a data set all info let's see let's take a look at it all info yes the all info data set was combination and full join of two data sets that you also have the access to both of them in uh, to all of them in the description of this uh, course this the full join of these counts that we have introduced and discussed in the previous episode uh, this data set and this one the full join was all info okay so as you can see the characteristics are very long and we may we want to make them short in some groups okay uh, for better visualization okay so uh, let's see for, for a review of previous episodes let's see view sample info yeah we could view the we can view the sample info and these are the characteristics uh, and uh, you remember that uh, this is related to the study data set and uh, here we can say that uh, one moment just it's not bad to review that it is the data set you can see two types basal cell and luminal cell you can see here uh, basal some of them are uh, basal cells and some of them luminal cells and uh, in each type there are three category virgin pregnant and lactating in each category two sample totally 12 sample okay so uh, this is and we can uh, get the yes call names sample info yeah okay these are character characteristics okay uh, so uh, let's see let's come back okay here uh, there are some new uh, methods the first method is mutate mutate uh, when you want to add a column to a data set you can use mutate it's very useful uh, so because i want to show you the documentation uh, how to use the documentation in r uh, let's just see a question mark then for example mutate okay then control enter or uh, run yeah create modify and delete columns okay you can see mutate uh, as you can see here first of all we will use mutate then the name of the data set then the name of the column that we want to create for example here group then we are using an another method case when it's like uh, an if else condition you can see we are telling to them that if you str detect if you detect a string in characteristics column which star uh, which contains basal and also ended with virgin then in this in the column of group uh, put this value b weird okay uh, which stands for basal virgin okay 
you can see in all info or sample info you can see some of them yes it started with basal and on uh, here some of them which uh, contains basal and for example uh, here ends with virgin okay so you can see here ends with virgin or with pregnant mm -hmm. you can see okay so let's do this uh, before that we can uh, for uh, for better understanding uh, we can uh, make a very simple example here for uh, you remember uh, we have introduced data uh, women data set you remember view women it was a day very simple data set for height and weight of the women okay so let's mutate and add an another column which is bmi body mass index here okay so first of all we should know the body mass index formula this is body mass index you know it's an index for uh, measuring the body mass and this is the for example here normal overweight and obesity okay so what's the formula since in this data set uh, the and these are in the heights are in inch and weight are in pound so we use this formula uh, 703 multiplied by mass in pounds divided by height uh, in the power of 2 in inches okay then we will uh, re we will achieve body mass index so let's do it okay uh, we will easily write women mutate women data set because we want to replace that data set with this uh, we want to replace it with the new data okay so the new column is BMI body mass index which is equal to you remember the formula here yes mass divided by yeah so here weight divided by height in the power of two then multiplied by this okay so let's see and then view oh yes we successfully added the added the new column bmi here which shows us the body a body mass index of each woman in this day each each woman in this data set okay that's nice so let's come back to the to our example here we wanna replace these we wanna replace these uh long description with a simple uh, short word okay so let's try all info yeah then uh, mutate uh, again all info because we want to replace that data set here uh, we will use the new column name is group group is equal to because we want to use uh, if conditions so we will use case when we will use case when yes and enter and here we will use what str detect str underline detect for detecting you can see the description here detected presence absence of a match okay that's nice str detect then uh, we will uh, write the column that we want to look something in that column for so here we know that we are looking in the characteristics column for some so we will copy these characteristics then uh, 
uh, what case here uh, for example it started it uh, contains basal and uh, uh, ended with virgin okay so in this case we wanna uh, simply do this be weird okay that's right mm, yes I think so okay so let's just run it uh, just for one example okay so let's see and oh sorry we have a uh, we have a mm, oh, problem do you, can you guess what's the problem here you can uh, pause the video and think uh, yes you are right we should put a quote uh, a double quote here because it's a text so let's run again uh, I think it's it works fine so let's view all info and see uh, it's, uh, we expected that yeah a column is added in group yes name group yes uh, some of them are not uh, available you, that's normal because we just add one condition here and we can see that for basal cell and that with virgin yeah we have be weird yes that's right and uh, uh, let's continue for another samples okay we can continue as well and put another samples like that these are just uh, the same but the names are different for example basal pre we can put vpreg or basal lact and so on it will create some nice and short groups here so let's run it okay uh, oh yeah <laughs> do you can you guess that what problem also again here it's very nice that we uh, we face with some real errors in this uh, course uh, I can edit them but uh, it's nice and it's normal that we can face them and troubleshoot in real time okay so the problem here we missed a column here comma here and then run it yeah it seems that it works fine let's see all info and wait for some seconds Uh, we expected that all not available uh, values are replaced yeah yes that's right luminal cell uh, luminal cell virgin l virgin and so on yeah that's nice okay uh, so in the next episode uh, we will go through uh, uh, creating subplot for each gen each gene doing some another operations so in this episode uh, i want to just uh, I, I just focused on mutate and some uh, which is really important also some other operations like SDR detects and case when I hope that this uh, episode was useful and informative for you and hope see you in the next videos bye